This is Dolores and I wanted to show you how to keep your memories alive from cruise vacations. As you know, we go on a lot of cruises, so if you look at any of my videos, you'll see there's a lot of cruises. Well, we've gone about, on about 10 in the last 40 years. So we have um, taken to buying a picture every time we go on a cruise, so I'll just show you like one of them. So we always buy one of their photo albums, one of their frames, and the newer ones now start having like what the cruise is, where it's going to. Some of the older ones didn't have it, they just said Royal Caribbean on them. So what we do, and every cruise we've ever gone on is Royal Caribbean. So what I do is we always buy a picture, so we can get this one open. So this is an older one, well, it's an ugly picture, but, and we always get a picture of us somewhere and a picture of the ship on the other side. And then what I do is I kind of keep a diary during the cruise and also keep all the cruise compasses. So you can see we have all the cruise compasses from our cruises. I don't know if you're over here or not. And I take the back and I make up a little like brief outline of the things we did. What the ship was, um, what the name of the cruise was, who the captain was, the room, um, where we had dinner, where we had dinner, because we always do the normal dinner. We don't do the, what is it called, my time dining. We like sitting with other people. You may, we might like them, not like them, but you can sit for an hour with other people, and it's kind of interesting to talk to other people about their cruises. So then I put each day and what we did, like what the day is, what the date is, we left Cape Liberty Bayonne, what time, the temperature, the, what the weather was like, and kind of something about what we did you know, went under the Verrazano Bridge, you know, went, got casual pictures taken, went to the casino. We just go through each day. You know, down here Thursday, we docked at St. Juan at 7 a.m., um, which the navigator of the sea is docked next to us, and our captain's son was the captain of that ship, which was a pretty cool thing. You know, walked to Kerm Town, went to the casino across the street, you know, that kind of stuff. So we do this for every cruise. What this does is you're able to distinguish one cruise from another. You start talking to people, oh, I went on you know, this many cruises, and it's like, well, I don't remember what I did on that cruise or this cruise. They start to all blend. So here's Explorer of the Seas. This one we did two pictures, and the reason I did two pictures here was because we did the picture of the ship on the front. And again, we did this. This one's a little messy. I'll show you how I do it in a second. But some of the older ones, short day cruises. So that the, the albums have changed a little over the years. I personally like the silver ones. I actually think the albums have gotten a little smaller than they used to be, but this is like a five day cruise. So, now I'll just show you how I do it. So of course I type something up, right? Do my whole synopsis. This one, I realized after we already laminated and stuff that there's some mistakes. It should say freedom of the seas. It doesn't. And day nine should be day eight. So I have to redo this one. So after it's typed up, printed off, I kind of cut it to the size, you know, trim it up a little bit so that it's not quite so big. And we take some laminating pouches. And these came from Staples. It's got instructions right here how to do it. You put your paper in and you actually start by pulling it across and I don't know, actually Steve does this part. I have the ideas, he has the brains to do this, I don't. And then I have some crafters tape, double-sided scrapbooking tape. So after we get the lamination on, I take the little cutter, kind of Trim it down. You gotta be careful you don't trim it too close because it'll open up. So you have to leave a little bit of an edge to it. And I took it around and I use the tape and just put it on the inside, put it behind the paper because I did what the last one I did, I kind of groomed. If you look at this, I put it under the plastic part and you can see the tape. The other ones I did, I did much nicer. I put it under. 
looks a lot nicer. I cut this a little smaller. That's kind of up to you. This I don't like, but I'm not taking it off. It's too hard to get off. The tape really holds it. So, in the end, you have pictures. You can talk about every cruise. You can show your pictures to people. Tell them about the cruise. They can read it. It's a good conversation. And you always remember your cruise. So, that's a tip. Keeping memories. See ya. Hope you enjoy it. Try it. Bye.